What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to fix mobile substrate in the iOS 8.3 jailbreak. So you can use this whether you're jailbroken or if you're not jailbroken. So there's two different methods that you're going to take. If you're jailbroken, then all you have to do is install a deb file. If you're not jailbroken, if you're having issues getting stuck at 20% or 60%, this supposedly actually fixes that. And all you have to do is use this new updated jailbreak tool from TyG. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to update through the dev file. If you guys are needing to download the actual jailbreak tool, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys and just follow the exact same process that you would follow if you watch my jailbreak tutorial. So I'll put that in the description below too if you guys wanna follow along with that. The only difference is, is that the updated version of the jailbreak tool is in Chinese but it looks exactly the same. All you have to do is untick that one box, that 3K assistant, and then click start jailbreak, and that's it. So for the deb file, this is what I'm gonna show you here. So all you wanna do is if you're already jailbroken, you need to download iFile. So you have iFile right here. This is what's going to allow you to install that dev file. Now at this point, all you wanna do is go to this link right here. I'll put it in the link in the description below. You can just tap on it on your phone, just like that and then it's going to open this up. Now it's very possible that this could go away or go down. If it does, I'll put a mirror in the description below as well that you can click on if this one goes down. But you'll notice right here, since I have iFile, that I can just tap on open in iFile. So at this point you can see that we have the installer. So that's all we wanna tap on is installer, and this is actually the first time I've opened up iFile. So you can see right here that I actually finished with a code result of 512, which I'm glad this actually happened. I'm gonna tap done, and that means that it probably didn't work. So what we're gonna do is close out of Cydia if we have that open. If we have Cydia open, swipe up, close it out, and then we're gonna go back into Safari and we're gonna open this up again. So it should actually install and result in a code of zero. So if that happens, just do that process. So at this point, now all we wanna do is restart our device. So let's go ahead and do that. Just hold the power button and the home button until you get an Apple logo. And then you can release and then it should reboot and you'll be good to go. And we're gonna test this out actually just by downloading uh, Winterboard because Winterboard didn't work previously. So we're gonna download Winterboard, download a theme and then we're gonna see if it actually works. All right, so now we're rebooted here. So I'm just going to unlock the device and then we'll swipe over here to Cydia and then let's install Winterboard. So once this loads up, if we actually see Winterboard in settings, that's gonna be a good hint that it's actually going to work. But once we get it into settings, we also wanna download a theme just to make sure that it's working completely. So let's do one more reboot. All right, so we're rebooted here. Let's go ahead and open up settings to see if it actually worked. And we're gonna scroll down here. And you can see Winterboard right there. So now let's actually uh, put in a theme just to make sure that it does work. And then I'll come back to you guys once that's done. All right guys, so for the moment of truth, let's go ahead and slide to unlock, type in that passcode, and you can see that we have Iris installed right here. So this is a awesome theme. It's an older theme, but it's still a good one. You can download this and it's going to work just fine. Now keep in mind that all themes aren't going to work. All tweaks aren't going to work, but a lot will, a lot more will definitely. And you can actually see that I've installed Cylinder as well, which is a uh, page transition tweak. You can see that that works just fine too. So if you want to download and install that, do that as well. But let me know what tweaks you guys have actually downloaded and are working in iOS 8.3 in the comments below. Keep in mind, again, if you guys aren't jailbroken, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to just click on. You're gonna download that jailbreak tool. Make sure you untick that second box, the 3K assistant, because the entire thing is in Chinese, but then continue with the jailbreak like you normally would, and it should work just fine. This should fix the iTunes versions. This should fix the Apple drivers. Basically, all the issues that you guys are having, hopefully you won't have with this new Taiji jailbreak tool. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys wanna stay up to date real time. Of course, if you wanna see more videos like this about jailbreak as well as Apple products, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.